Get on that. Here we go. Sweet. That's what I need right there. All right. Welcome back, JE Systems. Oh, it's loading something. All right, JE Systems, we're going to be showing you how to set it up. We're going to add a new type of user. What I mean by that is, uh, my case, we're going to be adding a vendor. We're having this pretend company. We have vendors come in. They have limited hours and limited days that they can come in. And we're only going to let them come in through the back doors. We don't want to see them. So how do we do this? First off, we open up Velocity. We're going to go to Administration Window if it's not already open. The administration Window is right here. We're going to open up Velocity Configuration. And we're going to have to go through several folders here. But the first one we're going to do is Time Zones. If you click on Time Zones, you come over here and, and double click on Standard Time Zones. Get a pop up. If you have one that already fits your criteria, great. In this case, we do not. So we go File, New. We're going to call this time zone Vendor. It's weird. It says I already have one called Vendor, but I do not see one. So we're just going to go ahead and ignore that by doing Vendor 2. I don't know why Vendor 1 is not working, but Vendor 2 it is. Vendor 2. We're going to say the earliest a vendor can come in is 8 in the morning. And this is military time. The time he can be here at latest come in will be 4 o'clock or 1,600 hours. Uh, we're going to come in on Monday through Friday only. So we check Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The number one over here says they can also follow number one scheduled holidays. If all this looks correct, file. Save, and then close this pop-up window. Time zone is set. Next, we want to go to door groups. Come over to door groups. You'll have a list already. We want to add a new door group. So double-click on Add New Door Group. Got a pop-up window. What are we going to call this door group? We'll call this Vendors. Time zone, we're using okay. Vendor 2. Hey, did I call you? Over here, we did got I a... I, who's the folders. <laughs> Please ignore the background I noise. <laughs> and we're going to open up XNet, the port, the Xbox, no, and we'll get a list of the panels. In this case, we have one panel. If you click on that panel, you should have a list of doors associated with that panel. In this case, we say the vendor's only coming into the back door. So we're going to select number three and hit add. To show up on the bottom. There's also these uh, buttons over the side. If we need to say, hey, you can open up all doors, you hit select all, hit add, and they're all there. Uh, we made a mistake though. We don't have all doors, so let's start removing. My attention is 206. I sent it to Raquel. I didn't know if Again, all we have is back door. Looks good. I don't know. Okay. I didn't. Vendors are now on our list. Next, um, she leaves at noon we want to go to credential templates. We're going to add a new credential. And the description for this will be vendors. Okay, right, thank you. Right here is we uh, which use what kind of credentials they'll present. If we're going to give them just a card, we'll give them two card. If it needs to have a PIN number, and only a PIN number, we can give them keypad. And we, right here, we set how many digits long the pin number can be. If one would have both, you present a card and then put in your pin number, it'd be three, dual. If it's an either or, you can use number six. This one, you can give him a card or a pin number, either one will work. In this case, we're just going to give him a card. Over to the right, we have an option. We can expire this card on a certain time frame. But you can say this card isn't active yet. He's actually going to, the vendor is going to start next month and we can choose a date. We're going to go ahead and keep this default. It's going to be active starting today. This card will never expire as of right now. Come over here to the function tab. We're going to add a function because right now this card does nothing. By default, we're going to assume this card will have access, but just for a moment. And the door group will be vendor. 
hit OK. It should put this line here. You have momentary access for the vendor group. And we are done. Hit OK. It should be complete. Now when you do an enrollment manager, and we're going to pretend we're adding a new person. This person's name is Jane. Last name, Go. And apply. And Jane Doe is part of the system. And over here, we're going to give her a card. We're going to add new credential from template. Double click. And you should see vendors is now on our list. Hit OK after selecting vendors. And it's ready to scan your new card. I don't have a card to present, so this is as far as we can go. We need to go ahead and present the card. The number would appear here or here, depending on how it's set up. You hit OK. If you did choose to have a PIN number, you'd have to enter that in here. After adding a credential, she'll have a line item here for a new credential. But the vendor has been added. That is all for this tutorial. Thank you. Ch -ch 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 -ch.